Well, Duck Goose. Woo! Actually, I forgot about the last episode. That I recently just saw the entrance. Like, what was I doing the first and the second episode? Oh, I was watching a video. I remember because it's not the animation. It's like, what are we doing back there? Oh, I remember! I was watching a video! <laughs> no, I was trying to show it to you guys, but I was getting caught and I was like, you know what, never mind. Like, what? Yeah, you're trying to convince us that water makes ice cream. Yes. Just with water. Oh! Oh my god. Damn, no, I, oh no, oh no, start the episode. <laughs> we already got her. <laughs> hey, sweet <laughs> dog. If you could have just seen her eyes, oh, yeah. just had the flashback. As if trauma would have happened. <laughs> oh yeah, it just like snapped snap back to reality. To the hey, let's go to the Amazon now. <laughs> There's a reason why I chose that order actually, from the Transylvania and then the Mountains, I believe, because they, those are the only ones that give me a health upgrade. After that, it's like you don't, you don't get any more health upgrades. So in the Amazon, actually, I find it pretty tough. So that's the, that's why I went in that order. But it doesn't matter. You can do whatever order you want. And look at this bee. The bee. The working bee. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Go oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. Okay. McKay? Hi, <laughs> of course I do. Great, I do. <laughs> then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. <laughs> what That's a, a good point. Hey, <laughs> I, I heard that. Damn. Oh, <laughs> well, you were <laughs> meant to. <laughs> claim the King Scepter was locked away in the giant temple of the clouds. Well, and damn. Be I'll be honest, I'll be, I have been one of those friends that's like, I keep the, the little transmission open just so they can hear me say it. Yeah, we know, we went to Ridoso with you. <laughs> oh, Jordy was there. Oh, uh, no, it was, I went to Ridoso with you. I did it. <laughs> Motherfucker, how dare you? It was, well, it was fun for me because I was talking on the radio the whole time when I was driving as well. And this guy was like, isn't he the one driving? Like, why, isn't he, why aren't the other people, like, using the radio? It's like, no, 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 I got the radio. I'm the radio man. Yeah, at some point, we just needed him. Yeah, <laughs> and, actually, and actually, my sister was like, can we, like, switch operators? And she would refer to me, and I was like, what is she talking about? And I thought it was, like, another, like, radio line? Because she sounded so professional. <laughs> she was like, is Brief requesting to switch operator? And we were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> We were like, whoa, is this like, did we just like hack into another person's radio? And it's like, Launch no, it was my sister. And I was like, huh, that sounded way too professional. I was like, I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> it, it was just, it was just funny because like, he, it, it's like he wanted to have a conversation with all of us. And like, Lupo was driving. Uh, yeah, he was driving. And like, you know, we were just kind of just hanging out or whatever. And yeah, because we were. Well, let me just split, like first start like how we were split up. Because it was him, my sister, my brother's girlfriend, and himself. He was a driver. And yeah. That's it. And then on my side, it was myself, G, his girlfriend, and then another friend of mine. Like that's that's how we were all separated. Oh, I but, remember being told about this. Yes. But keep yeah. in mind, on my side, G and Crow, they were both playing on the Switch, so they weren't leaving with my panties and what the hell's going on. And, she was asleep. So I was like, well, I have no one else to talk to. Might as well get the fucking radio then. <laughs> Start speaking to the other passengers. But like, he was, like, he was trying to talk with us and none of us in our car were like, wanted to talk to, wanted to, talk to anybody. <laughs> we were just kind of like all tired or like eating. So he kept like talking about stuff and we're just like, what? <laughs> And, and, so, it, and it just kept going and going and going. So keep in mind, I was having fun with the radio. <laughs> and so like, yeah, we were just like, oh, it's a little kid with the radio on. <laughs> and yes, to agree, and I agree with that. Yeah, I was definitely a little kid with the radio. And, and it was this, just funny because his brother was just like, dude, shut up. <laughs> God, we get it. You're behind us. <laughs> and he was like, and I remember he was telling all the time, like, he told me afterwards, as soon as we got to the location, we were like, he was like, Weren't you the one driving? He was like, yeah, why? Why did you give someone else the radio? Like, nobody was paying attention, so I wanted to speak with someone on the radio. I was lonely. Like, I wanted to talk with someone. <laughs> you know how lonely you get just driving, not hearing anybody? Uh, it's like, I can hear, listen to music, but even after a while, I'm like, oh, If I had been there, I would have talked to you. That's, that's, <laughs> that was perfect. Unless I fell asleep, too. <laughs> Not necessarily true. Could happen, but not necessarily true. <laughs> That's why I said unless. And then when. If he had wanted to talk, I would. 
<laughs> yeah, so in other words, and then they actually, they, everyone, like, learned about this lesson. And they're like, you know what? When we're on the way back, they actually took the raven from me. And I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know where it was. Because my sister was like, hey, do you guys have the raven? We hid it from him and then gave it to him. Keep in mind, I was, like, cold, like finishing up, like, cleaning up anything from the cabin. That were like, okay, let's make sure that nothing got left behind. And I was like, oh man, I'm not where the radio is. And keep in mind, I forgot that the radio wasn't there with me. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go there. And G and Krell, they were already on the same, on the car. They were already waiting for me. And my sister, she actually came by, by them. She was like, do you guys have the radio? And I was like, yeah, I have it right here. And she explicitly told them, don't give it to them. <laughs> like, don't give them the radio. And I just came back like, hey, what's up? You all ready to go? I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, do you guys have the radio? I asked them. And I was like, yeah, I have it. Like, oh, can I have it? I was like, no. Like, why not? <laughs> like, why not? Like, my sister, your sister told us to not give it to you. Why not? Because <laughs> you'll keep talking to them. But I want to talk to them. <laughs> and she was like, no, no, I'll stay away. You can talk to me. Okay, fine. I'll listen. Okay, fine. I'll talk to you. And yes, she did. And yes, she did. She ended up speaking to me for, for the whole ride, which I'm very, very grateful for. She did talk to us, like, in terms of, like, like which route are we taking them if we were gonna stop to eat something before going and then once more to stop at like, a corner store that we found and then that was it <laughs> like she would just ask the important she was just question. like with what we needed and just making sure like if they lost track of us or whatever just to make sure that we were there but yeah that's but the, it was just <laughs> that was a trip or the, ow <laughs> Yeah. Spice, 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 and I can bump my hand and spice right above me. And I was actually very scared of this place. Ow, oh. like that. Because <laughs> I have to let go of the button so I can drop. Well, at least you got the extra heart. You needed it. <laughs> yes. I Clearly, did. you needed the extra heart. This was a very clutch. This was a very clutch error for me. Enjoy It's not bad. Launch pod. What was that? I like how his pride is just not emotive about what's going on. He's like, ah, same old, yeah, doing whatever it is. Anyways. It reminds me of like, um, from, uh, God, it looks like one of the, like, Disney Christmas specials where, like, uh, Mickey gets a, gets a tree and ends up having, like, something like Chippendale in the tree. And they get all mad. Like, he gets them, or? No, like, he, he cuts down their tree. Oh, he cuts it down. For Christmas. And they're like, <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, then. They get all mad. And that so doesn't explain capitalism. <laughs> all that stuff. Alright, <laughs> all right, then, because we're going that route, then. I was like, well, he just destroyed their home. <laughs> <laughs> to make them feel pretty. <laughs> Artificially pretty. Alright. <laughs> yeah, and then Pluto gets all mad because he's like, what the fuck are these? <laughs> well, he didn't say that, but yes. <laughs> well, no, Pluto went, oh? <laughs> but in Pluto language, he was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and put in language, it's Pluto language, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and then he's like, oh, Pluto! <laughs> <laughs> The worst part about this was that I actually had to go all the way back because I had to collect all these nine points, but they're scattered all over the place. So at least I already knew the route, but now it's an issue going where I need to go. What now. is wrong with that plan? With the huge ass And because uh, that happened. The uh, trap? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it got ready in, in the morning just to pucker up. <laughs> you don't know, maybe you did. <laughs> Looking for love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want that kind of love. Unfortunately, I cannot kill the plants. They just like, no get away from me. The inspire ball. I would love to. <laughs> and this is the worst part because I was actually I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was actually like I was actually sweating. I was like, oh no, I only have one life. 
That is my last actual life, and I don't remember. Oh, you don't have a zero? I don't remember. That's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing. I don't remember if it's if it's like one and zero, like you're like it's game over, or zero and that's not my chance. So I have no idea. I was like, what? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna be very, very careful with bounce on these guys. <laughs> and I got to uh, yeah, beat them all. Oh, bees. It's fucking bees. <laughs> bees. <laughs> They're, they're fine in my world. Wasps, though. Those. Those are assholes. Yeah, those are assholes. And actually, <laughs> those I, are just jerks because they want to be jerks. Yeah. And that one actually, I have uh -huh. wasps, uh, wasps there, outside, outside my house. The and it's like, oh! I, I didn't notice you guys were making a nest out here. I should call Pest Control. Call them. And yeah, they, they already got rid of them. But they were like chilling. They were just chilling. Because we like, we broke it down because that's what it's all. They were like, yeah, just. If it's a, like a small nest, just like punch it down, like hit it with a stick, like don't hit it with your hand, because you know, you're like, you dropped on your head much and, child. and they're like, okay, yeah, we got rid of it, like while we waited for them. And then, not gonna lie, two days later, they were already rebuilding it. They were right there. I was like, oh wow, you guys are fast. They got pretty. Yeah, they did. <laughs> and the thing is, like, they're like, you're gonna knock down our house, but we're gonna build a bigger one. Yeah, the, like just, you know, and, yeah. <laughs> and the weirdest thing is, like, it's like the wasp was literally outside my garage door, and we were opening and closing that thing like there was nothing. We didn't even notice it was there. And so my brother pointed out, I was like, "Is that a wasp?" <laughs> and we were like, "Is it?" Like, "Oh yeah, it is." We should probably close this and not go through here anymore. I feel a little bit more pathetic if they weren't asking you for stinging you. I got stung. Uh, when I was younger by a bee, it was hiding in the sand. That was one sneaky ass. That, yeah, like, there wasn't any, there wasn't even a beehive nearby. It was, like, at, it was at my, like, elementary school. Damn. And it was hiding in, in the sand. And it, it just stung me. I'm like, that is not one suicidal bee. <laughs> a bee stung my cousin uh, when we lived in, in Mexico. It stung him because it had hidden inside his coat. Ow. So while he was drinking it, oh. it stung him oh. on the lip. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and like, it was a whole like, throwing stupid uh, coke can and then like stepping on it. Yeah. <laughs> and all that stuff. Oh man. And it was just like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten stung, stung by a bee as well. And this one, because. <laughs> this one, I got stung on the hand actually, because it was back in high school and. When, I was, when we were waiting on high school, oh, normally yeah, we would just have to wait outside because my parents were there. And keep in mind, there was a fly first. And it was like bugging me and hell. I was like, get away from me, go away, go away. After swatting you for a while, it was like, man, it keeps getting closer and closer. Keep in mind, this was the bee, by the way. So I grabbed, I actually managed to grab the bee. Keep in mind, I didn't know it was a bee, I thought it was a fly. And I smacked it against my hand. And it's like, oh, well, there you go. There goes the stupid fly. And after that, it's like, why? I feel like a super immense stung on my hand. It's like, ow. it's like, ow, what the hell was that? It's like, oh, it's the bee right there, like drooling on me, like trying to kill me right there. <laughs> it's like, oh, great, that bee's really trying to kill me. And it's like, okay, there you are. Like, let me just, like, pull you out. I know the needle's right there, so I'm gonna have to deal with that later. You really did not risk getting the gems oh. in that one. <laughs> in that part. I found the legendary temple. <laughs> nope, nope, hell Sorry, no. I know you turned to you. Oh, no, 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 I But it was I just know. like, yeah. wow. <laughs> you yeah. did it very cautiously. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was. Because actually, in my in my practice run for this one, I did go down to pick up the money, but then I noticed, this is a stupid <laughs> idea. There's, like, I don't get any type of HP, no extra lives. I'm literally on my own here. It was like, you know what, launch one, just take me. I'm not even gonna bother taking this money. I got plenty of money already. The real Scrooge would be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, like, I saw Scrooge, like, looking like looking at one of the gems, like, so closely with that. And I was like, I'm so sorry, Scrooge, but I don't want to die, dude. Like, I've already been playing this game for almost an hour. I don't want to do it again. Rod Roger, can you animate, like, tears on Scrooge as he's going through the helipad? A <laughs> brother the little house dead. <laughs> Listen, Scrooge, money's important, but so is your life. <laughs> Like right now, I money choose. is not important without <laughs> me. <laughs> right now, I choose life. <laughs> and the thing is, this boulder could have actually killed me one hit as well. It's a one hit. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah. 
But please finish your, your B story. Sorry, oh, yeah, I it's interrupted the that. Oh yeah, anyway, so was it the Skippy? Oh yeah, I found it. It was drilling on my hand. It tried. It really looked like it was trying to kill me. Like that guy. <laughs> and I missed that chest. I tried to get it back. No, it didn't pop back again. So I lost money. Oh. Right. <laughs> it was uh. sad. It was very sad. Uh. <laughs> I got a lot. It was, I got super sad on that. It's like, well, there we go. Climb up shape. Yeah, the bee was trying to kill me for some reason. I saw it was like, oh, I was like super like digged in there. It's like, okay. Pulled out the bee. Of course, the needle's still in there. So I threw the bee on the ground. I squished it. So I make sure, like, okay, you're and still. Like, I know you're gonna die, but I might as well end, end you peacefully. Why is Mrs. Be Mrs. Sure Beakley in these ruins? ruins? Because why not? Because she's giving me two wow. Wow. And they give me an extra life. Yeah, Watch out! in gold, Mrs. Beakley. That looks like uh, a plushie. If you'll pardon you can say <laughs> you can take it however you want, buddy. Find my own way out. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I'll find my own way out. And then I just jump. And the thing is, I have to go far, so it's just like, I have to go down there anyways. Oh, but, but I was gonna take the easy route. I was oh, gonna wait, go there's the a little shimmy. <laughs> and I got another ice cream. I was very pissed off. So I was like, you know, I needed this like five minutes ago. And that guy got in the way. No, it doesn't have to put on the amateur. <laughs> so anyways, I took the, the stump out of my hand, thankfully. It was very hard to take out, actually. Like a splinter? Yeah, literally, it's like a splinter. And I was like, how do you take it? And keep in mind, my hand was shaking, so it was pretty hard to like take it off. Play the operation in real hand, right? <laughs> in real life right there. <laughs> I didn't have tweezers, keep in mind, I was like 16 years old. And I was alone, so I was like, hey, I got no one else, wait! <laughs> I got super happy. Yeah, I took it off and it's like, okay, what do I do now? My hand is like shaking, it's getting a little puffy, it's burning. Like, what do I do now? Okay. So, the thing is, it's like, okay, you know what? Ow. Ow. <laughs> that, that's one, for starters. Literally. <laughs> for starters, like, the hand, like, it was burning, so I was like, you know what? Let's use water. Fuck it. Might as well use water to, like, at least get some of the numbness out of the way. It did not do anything. It, it didn't make it worse, it just didn't do anything. My hand was just, <laughs> my hand was just after a while, like, I did went up for a minute, it's like, okay, it's a little colder, a little numb, it's, it's fine now. But, after that, like, my mom was, she was like, what happened to your hand? Oh, I got stung by it. It was like, well, how? It's like, I thought it was a fly, and I killed it. So I smacked it with my hand, like, oh, did you not notice it was a bee? Now, of course I didn't. <laughs> That's why I got stung. <laughs> like, Let's mom. see the bee. Like, mom, you're asking the very important question, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the little animation, thing. I really like the animation to this world. And that guy was an asshole. It's not the old desk. Keep in mind, I have uh. one head now. <laughs> I have two, now I have one. That was, I'm about to get, remember that one life I got just a while ago? Guess what, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> well, what was funny about when I got stung is when we went to um, that water park. You got stung there? Yeah, I got stung like underneath like um. Oh, I remember you yeah, got stuck in, like in the armpit, didn't you? Say? Yeah, like near the armpit, but because like it like stopped and just like just was started was just chilling under my under underneath, like, but my arm know? was like up. No, we after a while like we started seeing it. It's like oh, well there it is, but it wasn't doing anything and I wasn't moving, and uh, yeah, and so because I wear because I was wearing a shirt at the time. So it was like going under his shirt, and I was like, okay, well, you know what, look, what we can do <laughs> is I'm going to squish it real fast, <laughs> and ensure that he doesn't stung me, and make sure I beat it to the punch. Ha, <laughs> beat. <laughs> but what you ended up- You can just see Jordy's face, like, no, no, this is going to end. What ended up happening is that I didn't move anyways, and the bastard still stung me. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to beat you to the punch. <laughs> yeah, and so then- felt that you were Yeah. <laughs> It smelled it. <laughs> it knew you were gonna kill it. And so it stung me and then like I wiped I swiped it off and whatever. And it was the first time I had gotten stung by a bee, so I was just like, Oh yeah, this this kinda hurts. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. This kinda hurts. And so then like the stinger didn't stay in, like it was put in. Oh, you're so lucky. Yeah, mine just kinda like fell off with the bee. <laughs> and so then that was a weak ass bee. <laughs> I almost told you a chat. <laughs> and so then I remember when Lupo was like, you're not allergic to the stupid bees, right? Like, I don't know, I've never been stuck by a freaking bee. <laughs> like, like, buddy, I've never gotten stuck. As oh, yeah, far I as know. I know, as far as I know, I'm not allergic to anything. 
<laughs> so then Martin Lupo was all like, eh, well, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Something happens to you, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. So then, like, five minutes later, just for, like, the paint to go away or whatever, we were back just, like, messing around and going to the water, like, to the, um, to the rides and stuff. Because, <laughs> you know, adrenaline is a bitch. And then, like, the next day, I just had, like, this big mark and, like, pull out. <laughs> So I, don't like, remember, oh. <laughs> I don't remember too much about my stun as to what happened afterwards. I just remember the initial and the middle part. That's it. I don't remember the role. The epilogue. Yeah. Weirdly enough, I remember mine very well, despite the fact that I was in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, but like, it ended up being a core memory for me because like, it was like it was super traumatic. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> that is one petty ass beat, by the way. Yeah, and yeah, and it stung me right in like the knee. Ow. So like right on the bone. So it was Ow. super painful. And then, Ow. and because like I was panicking, I I started running with the bee still in my leg, and that motherfucker stayed in there <laughs> as I was running. <laughs> the bee's like, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> it was literally holding on for dear life. Yeah, well, it was already dead, but it was. Just, <laughs> and I could like kind of feel it, like feel like the little fuzzy body just. <laughs> 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 and uh, I was I I saw my dude, and I was like, ah! <laughs> Actually, really fun after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I did it actually. I did oh, it. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, he took me for ice cream. Wow, I didn't get ice cream any, or anything. I just got a, oh, that sucks, and that's it. Well, I was like four or five, and they wanted me to stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> I got chimp mom stolen pizza. That one was a good one. That sounds hilarious. hilarious. It is. It was. <laughs> Yeah, it was because people were warning us about it. Because everybody was warning us about it. Because we brought pizza the second time we went to the Actually, Walmart. it wasn't a chipmunk, it was a squirrel. It was a squirrel. Yes, it was a squirrel. Uh, yeah, same I'll get level of funny. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, a little still, a little bastard came and robbed us. Yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind. It was that, uh, because we. we, we are, the table that we chose is like right next to like one of the quick pools, but it's also like under a tree where like it's pretty cool and nice or whatever. It's pretty nice shade. But then, like, Outsider. we had left to, like, go on the ride or whatever. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm losing it. Just like, outsider. <laughs> For hundreds of years, we have yeah, waited. Yeah, what is our And at last, that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary feathered one. <laughs> feathered one. Do to repay you. Well, now that you mention it, uh, Money. <laughs> I didn't come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it? This, it fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, hey, Mr. McD? Let's oh, they're climbing for nothing. <laughs> King. It Let's make backpipes. Take it and go in peace. Oh, oh thank you. I don't appreciate oh, that you guys were throwing shit at me, though. King's back scratcher. <laughs> 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 All right. That's how you ended. <laughs> I, I, I guess. That's the way it goes. But I guess to make it like real quick, because I think that's probably the end of the video. Yeah. It's uh, really close. Well, explain detail later. Yeah. yeah uh, a squirrel, like we found in our pizza box that there was this huge ass hole on the side. And we opened the stupid box and like a squirrel sees us and just like starts running with our pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like with the whole ass slice. <laughs> and we're just like, dude, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Iconic. And yeah, we were just like, because people aren't gonna believe us, so we might as well take a picture of like the hole in the freaking pizza box. And then, and then the squirrel was actually on the tree, and we saw it's like, That's yeah. Because if not, nobody's gonna believe us. Roger, uh, get the picture from Putin. Uh, <laughs> I believe you. I believe or from somewhere, just get the picture and put it right there with the pizza box with the big ass hole. And it, was amazing. A big it was a big hole, by the way. It was not a. T it was not like, oh, you couldn't have seen that. No, you'll see that thing, like right there. You will see that sheet. Oh, there's a scepter. There's a scepter right there. You should jump in. There we go. I always like to jump in. This kind of reminded me of um, a jungle adventure in The Sims 4. Just because, like, there's also like, a temple in the temple you have to go to get, like, a treasure. Interesting. Yeah. Although I wish I could edit the temple to make it look like that, like with the little duckies, 
<laughs> a little dirty. Honestly, if I could put ducks in, in the, the Devil Adventure Temple, I, I'm going to see if I can do that later. <laughs> All right, then. We can save that for next we'll time. We'll figure it out. If she did, it did. We'll figure out what to do. <laughs> next time. All right. Laters. <laughs>